Alright, uh, this is gonna be a very fast uh, Dark Souls uh, 1 tier list. We have uh, actually uh, like a full blown uh, full list of every boss in FromSoft and I'm gonna do it actually like eventually but I really need some refreshment from Dark Souls 2 and 3 and then Elder Ring just has actually so many bosses that <laughs> I have not even finished uh, playing it uh, yet so it's gonna take me uh, quite a long while I believe because the game is very very long and uh, has many secret areas and is definitely a top tier game like I voted for the game of the year and it won the game of the year so I'm very happy for that Alright, and let's start with uh, Knighted Taurus, it's the DLC area boss, and uh, I just love uh, Knighted Taurus, and I'm gonna be ranking this by the coolness of a boss fight and by the difficulty, <laughs> like, and Knighted Taurus actually took me quite a few times before I uh, uh, actually killed him in the first time, it's uh, actually a really fun uh, fight in a really amazing uh, arena, and I'm giving it a S tier. Uh, Asylum Demon is your first boss fight, uh, really easy, you can uh, kill him with 10 fire bombs immediately, very simple moveset, gonna give it D, and it looks like he's kinda cool, but he's kinda fat and boring. Alright, the next one is the Bed of Chaos, Bed of Chaos is another definite S tier, because it's really annoying, it's really, uh, it's just annoying to get there, annoying to fight there, and it's, uh, <laughs> Uh, game of chance and you're definitely gonna die <laughs> like you maybe if you don't die you're like one of those lucky professional guys but I'm gonna give it S tier because it uh, was a very fun uh, fight and uh, some people call it bullshit but I love the design and I love this fight okay the next one is bell gargoyles and uh, bell gargoyles are B it's not that hard uh, it's first double boss and it's not that easy can be but I do not have, you can always summon Solaire, you know, in Bed of Chaos fight, <laughs> good luck summoning somebody <laughs> to help you, <laughs> like, um, so yeah, that's why uh, Belt Gargoyles definitely be tier. Uh, Black Dragon Calamit, and another uh, S tier boss fight in the new DLC area, a really difficult uh, boss fight, he instantly one shots if you don't have a certain item or something so that's that's very difficult so another S tier and uh, really cool boss fight though really cool boss and you get uh, that cool ring that is absolutely useless and just gives you more uh, gets you damaged more so yeah uh, copper demon uh, copper demon is one of those uh, enemies that become a regular enemy later on uh, but uh, since I really like his style, like this do uh, like amazing swords with uh, and the uh, boss fight is kind of difficult because it's a very small space. It's like they start instantly running at you. Uh, I died many times uh, in the beginning, so it's a really cool fight. I'm gonna give it Capra Demon A. I love Capra Demon. Uh, Ceaseless Discharge is a D tier, it's a, a, just a story boss fight, you can just run back, you're gonna jump and you're gonna can just destroy his hand and just finish the boss fight, very easy, uh, just D, just D, just free souls, this is just free souls, and he kinda looks sad and the story behind him is very deep, but as a boss fight he's just D, uh, Centipede Demon, well Centipede Demon, uh, because I did like the environment, it's like same as Sisley Discharge, but this one is was actually a boss fight and it had some difficulty. I gotta give it C. But compared to, I uh, like the K K Chaos, which quite luck. Uh, it's a, it can be your first boss fight actually once you out of Asylum Demon if you go down, you know, the bad road. So. I, I'm gonna give it D, she has a big follow base, it can be very difficult, even like after gargoyles, uh, you might still get uh, your ass whooped, so I'm gonna still give it a nice, nice A. Uh, just as Priscilla, like one thing about Priscilla, she becomes uh, invisible, and then she like, if she like gets a bleed on you, it's 50% of your HP, so if you're like really unlucky, you just die, so that's actually a really cool fight. But uh, 
about thing here, you don't really need to fight here, you can just uh, exit <coughs> the boss fight and uh, quit, which is uh, a nice choice, if you don't want to kill uh, Priscilla, which is, is uh, definitely a favorite of uh, many people. Okay, Dark Sun Gwendolyn is just, uh, you just rush him and you just need to, it can be annoying, but if you have a decent shield with some decent uh, magic uh, resistance or you can just dodge, this this guy is no problem. So I'm gonna give him actually B, because uh, uh, I do like his design and the area is cool and the backstory is cool, only because of that. Alright, the next one is Demon, other Demon, and uh, this one at least it does damage, at least needs levels a little bit, but again it's a very easy one. Uh, just a pushover boss fight, I would say. Like same as Asylum Demon, really boring, not that impressive. I'm gonna give it uh, another C level and uh, four kings. Uh, four kings uh, can be difficult, but can be easy. But the path to four kings actually makes the fight harder. <laughs> uh, and the, it's a cool area can only do it after you kill the sieve, so I'm gonna give it actually as a steer. I really like that black area, it's really uh, dark and mysterious. So I'm gonna give four kings, if you're not properly equipped or leveled, you might find yourself in a difficulty, because if you don't out damage them, they're gonna start spawning and then it becomes an actual difficult fight. Uh, Alright. Uh, Gaping Dragon really cool design and uh, a decent fight it can be difficult you know like this definitely has like intimidation in it like this big ass dragon with teeth you know uh, I died to him many times but he's not that easy and his uh, tail uh, gives you a nice weapon so I'm gonna give it a bit here like, I still found him a little bit harder than Demon Surge or Centipede Demon. Even Centipede Demon kinda want him him beat here because you small you fight you have to fight in a really small area. Like extremely so this actually like uh, uh and it uh, looks uh, really enormous and uh it's a stressful fight so I'm gonna give it B. And uh yeah. Yeah. Gaping Dragon, uh, well, Gaping Dragon, like, I'm still, like, on the fence, like, it's, it's, can be hard, but then again, it can be easy, and you have a summon in there, so I'm gonna give it actually C, because it's not hard, like, when you can just dodge him mostly, and then, like, just counter him when he's most open after, like, certain attacks, so I cannot give him more than C. Uh, Grave Lord uh, Nito. Uh, well, there's if you don't have a holy weapon, you're fucked. <laughs> this fight is gonna be hell. Like always spawning enemies, there's a lot of shit in there. Uh, but uh, besides that, he's not that bad. He's not that uh, difficult. So I'm gonna give him just a, a simple A. Uh, but um, he's definitely. Uh, Fun, fun boss fight, fun design, and uh, you definitely like uh, feel the great grave, grave lord uh, like vibe from him and uh, from the area. Uh, Sif the gray wolf. It's not a fight, not that hard of a fight, and it's a very sad fight. I don't even wanna do this fight, you know. Like you know, it's just bored, like you know, dog of Ortorius. You know, it's a um, very sad backstory to them both, and um, yeah, just uh, you really don't want to even kill a gray wolf, like, just very sad. I'm just gonna give it S because you know it's not a difficult fight, but it's a sad fight, and you know, anything that gives you feels is, is from soft, and I will love it. Alright, uh, and now it's the final boss fight, the uh, Vain Lord of Cinder. And uh, can be difficult. Uh, for blast boss fight, the area and the boss design is cool. He has flaming sword, and then you get his sword uh, as a player character, and it's way way shittier, <laughs> just like in every game. But as a boss fight, it's a really really cool one. It's a really really cool one. 
Uh, Iron Golem uh, can be killed very easily. Like uh, he has amazing defenses, but if you choose the fight, it's uh, like D S tier, C tier. But if you don't choose the fight, it can be like A tier because if you don't have a weapon that does damage to him, it gonna take you forever. <laughs> it's gonna take you forever. That's why I'm gonna give him just B because without the cheese he is annoying to defeat uh, okay this is the manus or of the abyss actually can be a very difficult fight and the area again is very cool so i'm gonna give him s just because of that because i died in many times in this boss fight uh, annoying to get there as well so s tier definitely uh, unlike butterfly moon knight butterfly that one is uh, yeah, just uh, very easy, you can just wait it out, a little bit of dodging or a good magic resistance shield that uh, is like, you can be acquired easily beforehand, like even grass uh, shield should be sufficient, so I'm gonna give him D, just free XP. Just like a uh, pinwheel, just free XP, you can defeat him instantly, uh, easier than anything, and uh, it yeah, gets you a nice mask, but anything beside that is really easy. Uh, Sanctuary Guardian... Can, can be a problem, but that's a fun fight. It's a fun fight, like it's very uh, fast, very mobile. You're always moving, he's always moving, and uh, I would give it A actually because it's a quite a fun fight. Actually, uh, see it the scale, it's not a difficult fight, but you can get cursed. And uh, he's a cool character, and really. Uh, uh, cool, cool scene as well. Like to get in there, like you need to go on the invisible bridges. So I'm gonna give him another A. It's not that difficult, but it can give you some problems, and you can just get killed. So I'm gonna. Uh, that's that's that said. Ornstein and small. <coughs> and that's that. This one is the classic. It's hard as shit. I think I like the most with this game. Like. Uh, many times because of this fight because I was playing in a uh, like offline version and I could only summon Soler and Soler was performing ass and uh, yeah I think I like defeated them once, once I just took off all the armor <laughs> and just put on a big ass sword and then I uh, just uh, dodged my way out of it but yeah definitely S tier S tier uh, straight demon another of those uh, like easy, easy fights in the beginning, you can a little bit cheese it, you can, uh, it's not hard, you get raisins beforehand, uh, you can equip dagger and just raisin his ass, so like definitely set here. Uh, wait, Taurus Demon is the one you can just uh, straight as, just, uh, just uh, raisin. And straight demon is another like demon search or asylum demon, just fat ass. Hmm. Yeah, just gonna give them C tier, just uh, not that difficult, or his demon, even D. But, uh, yeah, he's like harder than Moonlight Butterfly, I'm gonna give him C, because you actually have to try. And yeah, that's actually all of the uh, Dark Souls 1. You know, I get all your uh, hard ones. Uh, Clyde of Artorias says, Bed of Key is not that hard, it's just uh, annoying, but still that's hard. <laughs> You know, you have to run, you have to like hit that little switch and you hope that you don't get swiped and die. So like, you know, like definitely gonna die. A ender of many like deathless runs, uh, this one, so. So yeah, and that's my list. You know.